Welcome back. Um, a quick one today, but one that I wanted to do. Um, I'm going on to the Monsters Den on Sea Tranquility in a few minutes, um, so I thought I'd tape this beforehand. Um, as you can tell from the title and the rather spiffing t-shirt, um, this is going to be um, a quick tribute to David McCallum, who passed away at the age of 90 this week. Um, I've been a David McCallum fan for absolute years, so more than 30 years, since BBC Two were showing the Man From Uncle repeats in the early 90s. Um, it was always a, a, a source of pride that David came from about a quarter mile in that direction um, and became so massively famous at one point getting more fan mail at the height of his Elia Kiriakian fame than Elvis Presley, for goodness sakes. Um, but um, a couple of highlights of his long and uh, illustrious career. Um, I mean, as mentioned, Man From UNCLE, here's the, the 80s uh, TV movie uh, with George Lazenby not playing 007, but very similar. Um, Elia Kiriakim was an absolutely sensational character. Um, stoic, steely, pardon the pun, given what we're about to talk to in a minute. Um, McCallum played it with a, a quiet intensity that was very unshowy, very not flashy, and quite ahead of the game for for the period. Um, he wasn't playing it in a, a plummy over the top fashion, which could be very easy to do, um, and made a Russian character at the height of the Cold War sympathetic, which no small feat. Um, from, obviously, did a lot of exploitationy stuff later on. He did like dogs, for example, which is not great. He did um, uh, Frankenstein: The True Story with uh, James Mason, star of Hollywood film. Um, great, great version of Frankenstein. It's called The True Story, but it's, it's about as fictional as anything can be. Um, he's wonderful in this as Frankenstein's mentor. He's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, this is one of the Frankenstein films that people really, really need to see if they haven't done so. Highly recommend that. Loads of TV stuff, obviously. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not an NCIS guy, but whenever I did see it, Ducky was always cool. Stuff like Kidnapped in the 1970s. I mean, look at him there, the uh, Robert Louis Stevenson adaptation. Wonderful stuff. Um, the Invisible Man, uh, great again. Um, much more based on the the earlier TV show from the 50s, um, which is really cool. Um, only 12 episodes before it was cancelled. And I'm glad it was, because that got us Sapphire and Steel, um, which I recently talked about as an example of uh, why it was so sad that Network have gone the way of the dodo. Um, just one of the most imaginative and wonderful television shows ever made, for my money. One of the greatest things to come out of of uh, British genre television. Um, and David was perfect as Steel. Um, summed him up perfectly, just the name of the character. He was chilling, he was dark, he was brooding, he was passionate and intense, but always in a quiet, understated way. He never overplayed it, never overplayed his hand. Um, and very early in his career, he was even in the Outer Limits. I've got an autograph of him from the Outer Limits, which, uh, yeah, look at, looking a bit different there, looking a bit different. Um, yeah, I mean... Tributes have been paid all week, as indeed they have been today for Michael Gambon, who passed away. Um, but I don't think that David had that role um, that maybe kept him in the po culture quite as much as somebody like Gambon had with Harry Potter. Sure, people watched NCIS and droves, but I don't think they perhaps really appreciated the the 60 plus year career they had beforehand. So that absolutely is worth everybody's time and attention and uh, yeah anybody watching this I'm sure knows and appreciates David McCallum but I can't stress enough if you haven't seen it you must see Sapphire and Steel that should be your one takeaway see Sapphire and Steel David thank you very much again folks get your David McCallum t-shirts wherever whatever good t-shirts are sold thanks very much short one but uh, a better sweet one to say the least Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.